But our top story is that smoke coming from a hungry wildfire in the Great Dismal Swamp. It's nearly doubled in size in one day. Dry and windy conditions help the flames cross into North Carolina. Only Chopper 10 can show you this view of the fire from the sky. Fire officials say it's still growing, too, and it's likely to burn for weeks. But luckily, there are no homes in danger. And believe it or not, the fire is not all bad. We sent in your size Jason Marks out. And Jason, there are some benefits from a fire like this. Absolutely, Tom. You know, when we think fire, the first thought we have is bad. But there are some positives. We're told from a fire like this could come brand new growth. As the smoke continues to rise from the Great Dismal Swamp, forestry firefighters flock to help out. There are people from all over the country. The fire began after a lightning strike last week. Now about 6,000 acres of the refuge are burning. From day one, the number one priority was to put this fire out. Crews on the ground have spent the last couple days making fire lines. And at the same time, crews in the air are dousing the flames. The difficult conditions for the firefighters to work in, I don't think everybody's all that pleased when they hear, oh boy, we're going to Great Dismal Swamp. There's plenty of fuel out there for the fire, including dead trees knocked down years ago from Hurricane Isabel. In some places in the, in the swamp here, it's burned deep into the peat soils, and we are disappointed about that because that's years and years of accumulation of organic matter that's been lost. But forestry officials say a fire like this one isn't all bad. Well, the fire tends to recycle nutrients, makes them available for plants, and makes them available for animals, too. The flames will also help clear off dead trees and brush. It will take some time before we know how much damage is done. We're waiting to see what happens. Uh, in the 2008 fire, they had some cases where they thought everything was lost and they were surprised when they came back and there was some um, natural regeneration. The fight is going to go on for some time to come, but crews say they're ready for the battle ahead. We don't want to let this fire burn. We want to put it out. Now, we mentioned that 2008 fire. Officials say they noticed an increase in switch cane, a large type of grass, very similar to bamboo. We're told that before the fire, it was very low in numbers inside the swamp. So they're hoping that this fire will have a similar effect. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.